your maths input for Wednesday morning. Okay. Now, year threes, we're going to carry on with our measure unit, and year fours, carrying on with our fraction work today. Okay. So, first, we'll start off with year three. Okay, so this time we are looking at equivalent lengths, but this time we're looking at millimetres and centimetres. So our work from our previous lesson is really going to help us here. Okay, so there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre using our bar model here. Similar to yesterday, so how many millimetres are in one centimetre? We know it's 10. You're going to be much neater than me and be able to fit it in. And then you can work out how many millimetres are in three centimetres. And you can repeat for the next one. This one is the opposite way around. So if we know what 10 millimetres is one centimetre, we fill our bar model in and we'll be able to work out how many centimetres there are in total. OK, question two, match equivalent metres. So I would convert them. So one centimetre and three millimetres. Now we know there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So we add that to our three. And that is 30 millimetres. OK, so I can draw my line across. OK, you can repeat the same. How long are my scissors? The scissors are how many centimetres first? So you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then work out how many more millimetres very carefully. OK, then you're going to convert it all into millimetres. Find three items in your classroom that at home. Anywhere in your house that you can find, measure them and complete the table. One has been done for you. So a toy car was nine centimeters, six millimeters, and 96 millimeters altogether. Okay. Because the nine centimeters is 90 millimeters. So I just add that to my six, so it's 96. Okay. Philip and Kim are building towers using cubes. Each cube is three centimeters high. So that means from here to here, it's three centimeters. Philip uses six cubes. How tall is Philip's are? So we need to do six cubes if each one's three. Six times three. Give your answer in millimetres. OK, then you need to convert how many centimetres into millimetres. Kim's tower is 300 millimetres tall. How many cubes does he have? So we've got to work out how many 30s because it's 30 millimetres in one centimetre, uh, in three centimetres, there are in 300. To make it easier, we could turn this into centimetres. So how many centimetres are there in 30? Three. How many centimetres are there in millimetres? Now, because we know there's 10 in one, we need to divide by 10. Now, if we remember from our work previously in school, Divide by 10, we can get rid of a zero if they end in zero, so that it's 30 centimetres tall. That can help us work out how many cubes he's got. OK. And then completing our bar models that we did yesterday, we practiced this, 60 millimetres. So the 60 is 6 centimetres and there's 2 millimetres left. You can complete the next ones. OK. Year fours, we are looking at fractions this time greater than one. OK, so we're looking at fractions are more than one whole. So complete the sentence, there are seven fifths all together. That means we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five fifths is a whole. Then we've got two more, one, two. Okay, so that is one whole. And then we've got two fifths. Okay. Down here. Okay, how many fifths have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 altogether. OK, so how many holes? So how many? One hole, two holes. So we've got two holes and then we've got one, two, three and three fifths. OK, because here's my two holes. There's my three fifths. You can complete the next one. OK, show the bar model to represent the fraction complete now five thirds. That means we've got five of them. So we've got one, two, three, four and five. OK, so that means I've got one whole bar and I've got two fifths. OK, so it's one whole and then two fifths. OK, you can have a go at the next one for me. So eight lots, eight thirds, OK, and eight fifths. Complete the statements. Now, this is a few different ways to work on this. Twelve halves. So how many holes is that? 
Okay, so the easiest way to do is this number here, our denominator, so it's a two, we've got to work out how many twos go into 12. No, because we know our two times table, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That is six, because two times six is 12, okay? So using our denominators to help us work out how many holes there are. So how many sixes go into 12? How many fours go into 12? And that will be your holes, okay? If you need to draw a diagram, you can do that just like these up here, okay? All right, number four, Whitney bakes 26 muffins. Muffins are packed in boxes of four. How many boxes can Whitney fill, okay? So again, looking at how many whole boxes. So 26 muffins four in each box here is our calculation we need to do okay using your four times table number five right less than greater than or equal to to compare these statements again use your fractional to help you or let's work it out with our holes so two holes and three quarters okay so how many is that so two holes if it's split into quarters there's four in each hole okay so that would be four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three more, nine, 10, 11. So that is 11 quarters. Okay, and five quarters over here, so 11 quarters over here, so this one is definitely bigger. Okay, so first of all, work out, use some diagrams again like this to help you if you need to, so you can see it visually, okay? And then complete the part whole model. So remember, these two parts add up to get our total here. So if we've got four holes here, that takes out our four holes. We only need three fifths into this box. Okay, you can complete the other ones. Okay, good luck, year four and year three.